Dad, why don't you hop in the bed there, Daddy? -o. And while well, your daughter throws up all over the floor and the dog sleeps in it. Hmm, lovely. Hello, survivors, and welcome back to Sheltered. It is August 5th, 2015, and we are going to pick up where we left off here with the Punchwood family down in the Fallout Shelter waiting for us to join them. But before we do so, I would like to point out that Shelter is now available on Steam Early Access. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can go to the store page and check it out. It's $14.99. Available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So if you like what you see here, check it out, guys. And now we're going to jump into the... This is actually Punchwood family. It got reverted back to the Smith family. There was an update to the game. And it uh, modified the save files. I actually moved them to a whole new location, too. So I had to hunt them down. I found them. Um, the game is saved. Fortunately, I didn't lose the save. Sometimes that happens. But uh, So we're going to pick up right where we left off, which is very nice. I can't promise that's going to last forever, but we'll see how far we can get before the next save game break. Uh, Chris, can you, can you fill the dog's food bowl, please? Poor Rex. I mean, Wilson's dying. Dying of starvation, literally just standing there looking at his empty bowl. How terrible. All right, what did we do the last time, guys? It's been a couple of days, and I apologize, but I lost um, I lost power. And I don't really remember what the heck we were doing. It's been a couple of days. Uh, I, I literally lost power in real life, IRL. Um, hey, Mom, get up and go get a drink of water. Dad's going to go snooze because he is uh, very tired. Um, yeah, we had our own little apocalyptic event here in the northeast. A bit of a storm knocked some power lines down, and uh, I've been kind of out of sorts for a short while. But I was hoping to get some more episodes of this up before it went live. But uh, it is what it is, my friends. So what else were we doing? It looks like Sarah was working on something down here. I think she was... Little sis is, uh, she's upgrading the workbench, if I remember correctly, right? And she is a mess. She's tired, she's sweaty and smelly, she's thirsty, and she's got to go tinkle. So she's just going to have to wait. Child labor, you got to love it. Bing! Ten experience. That was worth it, wasn't it, Sarah? Okay, Sarah, quick, get to the bathroom. We don't need any accidents. And then you can get a drink of water. Fill up your bladder again. For next time. All right. Dad's still snoozing. Sarah's on the toilet. Chris is going to go and fix this because I think... I think this was pretty low. Oh, yeah, 28%. How about we go fix that generator? And I'll tell you what. I wish I had had a generator this time around here in IRL because, man, I am tired of uh, not having power for, two, for several days in a row. I mean, I could live without it in, in the summer. It's not terrible. But we lost power for about five days last winter, and it was pretty rough. Um, Sarah, go get water. How's our butt doing? Oh, we were going to make a big butt, weren't we? Yes. Yes. So the next time it rains, we can collect extra water. Right, so we have to be kind of frugal with what we have right now. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to drink too much. Um, hey, Sarah, can you just get out of the way here? 25 water in there right now. Uh, 30 maximum. How about if we... Let's get Dad up. Let's get Dad up. Um, yeah, he's he's rested enough. Yeah, get up, Pops. And do not take a shower. But I do want you to go down here and craft a big butt. We had upgraded this, right? Yeah, there we go. So it's a 30... It, 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 it stores 30 units of water. And we have everything we need to make it. So let's go ahead and plop that big guy down. I um, wish I could put it next to the other one, but we're kind of limited for space. How about between these two rooms? I guess that's possible. We'll put it right down there. we got some messes here, so we're going to have to get a mop. See this dust and dirt? Shouldn't be a problem. We can make a mop in a bucket. Uh, so now we're going to be able to get more water. We just have to wait. Well, we have to wait for that butt. The big medium butt to be made, and then it, uh, then we need to wait for rain. Sarah, why don't you um, just get a few Zs, throw her in the sleeping bag, while there's nothing else really going on, and then Mom. How's Mom doing? Mom's going to have a quick bite to eat, 
And then we're gonna send her out into the wasteland again because she is a beast. Super mom extraordinaire right here. So, mama, let's go check out the uh, map. I'm gonna set up an expedition. There she is. She is now courageous. Remember, she was a coward in the last episode, but she subdued Pink Mr. Pink Pants. I think his name was was it Michael Pink Pants? Pink Pants. <laughs> Beat him up, took his stuff, and then she got confidence. So that's great. Now we're gonna send her out. We visited these two locations. We have not gone to the small farm. And I don't remember what these had. I know we wanted to go back to one, but I, let's just check out the, the one place we haven't gone yet. And yeah, we'll go to the other places later. Grab a face mask. And a pipe. And how about you take a few buckets for trade? We've got three buckets. Seems like a fair amount. Just in case we bump into anyone and I can just drop them if we need to load up with other stuff. Okay, mama. Adios. She'll be fine. She is a toughie. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. I'm going to let you out. Now, I know it's a little odd that you have to wear um, a suit, a hazmat suit, to go out here and work on the surface, and you don't need one for the expeditions. I'm not sure if that's going to change any. Did I just put Dad over there? Yeah, 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 I did. No, 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 Dad. You're not going out. I'm kidding. Let's see, I don't really like that. There's a few funky things that go on here in the game that, because it's early access, will most likely be, uh, be enhanced in the long run. But we'll deal with it for now. Anyway, Mom's calling. Somebody get the phone. Hello, this is Mom. I found a small farm out in the wasteland. Should I check it out? Yes, Mom. Search that location. Dad needs a shower, but not going to happen, Dad, because we're down to 23 water out of 60. You see that? So now this has been, uh, our, our capacity has been increased, which is awesome. Oh, that's Mom again. Hold on. Hi, it's Mom again. It looks like the small farm has some stuff that might be useful. Grab it, Mom. Uh, cement. Oh, a whole stack of cement. What is this? Rope! <gasps> noose! <laughs> Just in case things get bad. Uh, we'll grab the noose. And leather, I think, comes in handy eventually, so we'll snag that. We have some transistors. Um, petrol is always important. Yeah. Um, water. Definitely want water. And that's six of six. Um, hmm. I could drop the buckets and then grab the limestone, which I think might be more valuable. The water, eh, well, that's good. Okay, let's go. We didn't meet anybody for trading. Hey, Chris, get your sister up, because she's, you know, she's still snoozing. We need a new bed. Tell you what, where's dad? Dad's a mess. Dad, you, you can at least have a drink of water. Uh, Sarah's asleep. Chris really needs to... Chris is going to pass out if I don't make another bed. Let's make a bed right now. A big old bed. And we'll put it right... Right here. There we go. Chris is going to go make a bed. Well, Mom's back. Alright, let's see what you got. Mom's got the goods. And we'll just dump it all in storage. And whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we're still good with the storage because we're using some of these supplies up in crafting and upgrading, etc. But uh, we are probably going to want to make a new storage box pretty soon. All right, sweet. All right, 20 experience. This kid's going to pass out, I think. I really do think he's going to pass out before he gets this thing done. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I guess we're going to find out. Everybody wants a shower, but we need water. Uh... I hope he does. <laughs> Come on, Chris, you can do it. All right, oh, a little more than halfway through that bed, and then you can hop right in there, son. Oh, shower, 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 shower. Yeah, Dad, take a shower. Let's get Sarah up, actually. Um, she's a smelly little beast. The kid's done. All right, wait, hold on. Chris, get in bed. Quick, quick, quick. I think you get more rest out of the bed. I think it's more efficient sleeping. Um... Dad can hop in the shower here while it's raining. Oh, did you see Sarah was going for it? But then Dad uh, totally, sh uh, what do you call that? A um, shower bomb, I guess, maybe? And so, Sarah, why don't you go eat? And Mom is going to grab a few Z's in the sleeping bag on the floor. 
So we're, we're filling up two water butts right now, which is lovely. We were at 30 before. We're now at 60 capacity. That's going to be great. Why are you hanging your head, Sarah? I'm sorry. What's the matter? You want to shower, don't you? She's a coward, too. Runs in the family. Interesting. We've got a drink of water, hon. Yeah, yeah, she really needs a shower. That's why she's all upset. All right, so we're looking okay here. I think we need to make a new room, actually. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with Sarah? Dad, get out of the shower before Sarah... <laughs> really? She's exhausted. You're not tired. She just needs a shower. Wow, she likes to be clean, I guess. She's very concerned about her hygiene. That's good. That's good, especially living in a confined place like this shelter with your family. You need to be conscientious about that sort of thing. Uh, what can Dad do right now? He should eat. Now, I know there's a lot of micromanagement here. It seems like I'm doing a lot of clicking and, and just um, doing a lot of these tasks that you'd think they could probably do autonomously, right? They, sh they really should be able to grab a bit of food and a little bit of water on their own. I imagine the developers are probably going to rethink some of this as they watch people play, especially. Because I think, in many cases, developers tend to develop the game um, based on their own vision and maybe not play it like everybody else plays it. So once they get a, a larger base of people actually playing the game, then what is wrong with her? Oh, she's sick. Sarah... She's got food poisoning. Is that because the place is such a mess? That's why she's all... Oh, she's throwing up all over the place. Pea soup. All right. I'm sorry. Chris, go get some water. Actually, you can drink out of this butt, right? All right. Mom is going to... and Yeah. This is just a thing because Mom just woke up. It's not because I believe that moms are the only ones that can clean. Trust me. In my house... Uh, I do a lot of cleaning. We all do lots of cleaning. <laughs> it just worked out that way. Uh, Dad, why don't you hop in the bed there, Daddy? -o. And while your daughter throws up all over the floor and the dog sleeps in it. Hmm. Lovely. Anybody need a shower right now? Because now's the time. Go ahead, Chris. So anyway, yeah, there's a lot of little micromanagement tasks that need to be done. And I think in the long run some of this will probably be balanced out maybe some autonomy will be programmed in and these people will be at least be able to do some of the things on their own some of these minor tasks um you know we'll, we'll just have to wait and see i'm not sure how it's all going to pan out but keep in mind that it is early access very early access so a lot of this may change for better or for worse we just don't know all right, let us send, let's send mom back out. We can upgrade. Actually, you know what, mom? Let's go do an upgrade. I think that's a great idea. She's going to put a hazmat suit on and go do some upgrades. Oh, there goes the kid again. Aw. She is a mess. All right, let's go. What can we upgrade? Oxygen filter's pretty bad off. Let's... Upgrade this. What does this do? Oh, we don't have enough leather. Well, let's just let's just do that. Give us give us something to do. Didn't seem like it was all that expensive in, in um, materials, so we'll send her up to do that. And Dad's looking pretty good too. I think Dad. We're gonna get Dad up and send him off on an expedition. And Chris is gonna clean up after his sister. Clean the shelter. And Sarah, I think we just want to toss you in bed. Yeah, oh, poor kid. Go in the bed and sleep, all right? Sarah, when you, when you stop throwing up all over the place. All right, we're looking good right now. Daddy-o! Daddy-o! Let's send him off on, a, on a, uh, an adventure here. Two! Now, we've been to a couple of these places. We could just go back and get the rest of the supplies. Um, I mean, we might as well, but we're going to need food, and I think we got all the food out of these places. So let, let's give him, let's send him out this way. Tell you what, we'll go there, there, 
there. And he'll stop off here on the way back and see if there's any extra supplies at the house that we missed, that we, that we missed, uh, we left behind. How's that? All right, that makes sense. Let's go. And we're down to, we're going to be down to four masks after this. Whoa. Oh, I used up a lot of my pipes, didn't I? All right. And we're down to four buckets. What should we give him? Oh, we can make a trap now, now that we have the ropes. Right, forget about that. I'm wondering what we can give him to trade. I don't know how much all this stuff is worth, really. Valve. Why don't we give him a transistor? I don't know. We'll give him a transistor to carry around. Let's see what that's worth. Probably not much. All right. So Dad's going to head out. Sarah's going to bed. Chris is cleaning up the the puke mom's fixing the water filter and here goes daddy o daddy o daddy o and we're looking good and uh and wilson is eating lots of rats i think and i think that keeps him fed i think i'm not entirely positive about that all right so i think what we might do is actually call it here Let me Wait, somebody at the door. Oh, somebody at the door. Oh, we haven't seen this yet. Cool. All right, who? Who is he? It's Paul. <laughs> hey, Paul. Wait, don't go away. Hey, that's a nice shelter you have there. How's about I hop in there and join you? Uh, no. Get out of here, Paul. We don't like your kind. Beat it. This is a dumb name, too, so go. Skedaddle. Mom, take him down. If he tries anything funny. She's like, can I get down to my shelter, please? Thank you. All right, let's put... I think Chris is all done cleaning, so I think what we might do... Let's let Mom back in anyway. All right, Mom, thank you. And... Oh, it's Dad. I just can't stop playing. Check this. Hold on. Let's see what Dad's up to. Hello, this is Dad. I found a large reservoir. <gasps> out in the wasteland. Should I check it out? Yes, Dad. Check out the reservoir. Um, Chris, what I want you to do is craft a room oh we can make a room yes 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 yes. i think we're gonna make a room because we're already like full again so let's get chris working on that and i probably should make sure he's fed and hydrated and has gone pee pees before he starts that but i always forget anyway dad to base i found something at this large reservoir are you interested of course dad check it out please water now I wonder if this is possible if it's possible to continuously get water from the reservoir. I don't know. Let's look at it on the map. Where's my map? Nope, nope, nope. Down here. Um Shack. Oh, you went right by a shack. Oh, here's a reservoir. Little squigglies. And I can't seem to zoom in here. I don't know if that's functionality is gonna be added eventually, but you can see little squigglies. So, Dad is right there, by the way. That's the pinpoint. He's going to go here, here, and here, and back. But I wonder if I can divert. I can recall him and just have him. Let's have, no, let's, let's have him finish his job. And we'll see what's over in this area. And we'll check out that shack another day. All right. I think we're just going to send Mom to drink out of the, the butt. Uh, <laughs> that just sounds wrong. Um, and Sarah, who still has food poisoning, she'll work this out of her system eventually. And, okay, she's, oh, <laughs> she's still throwing up the poor kid. Oh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. It, it'll take a couple of days, I think, to work out of her system. But, uh, she, it will eventually clear out. And in the meantime, Mom's gonna go to bed. We got, uh, Dad out in the wasteland. Chris is digging a, uh, a new room. And we're looking pretty good. We're live. Day six. I think we're gonna call quits right here, guys. And it looks like our water filter is going to need something. Maybe an upgrade. Oh, we're out of fuel. E gas. All right. Um, somebody get up. Oh, gosh. Radio transmission. Everything's happening all at once. <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to quit here. Uh, we'll pick up in the next episode. On second thought, guys, let's keep going. We are at about the 20-minute mark or so. So let's, uh, let's get another four or five minutes going. Hey, Sarah, can you put some fuel in the generator, please? That's a good girl. And let's check in with Daddy-O and see if we can't get him back home safely. Hi, this is Dad. It looks like this small house has some stuff that might be useful. What do you think? I think you should check it out, Dad. Duh. <laughs>
All right, we have a recycle bin. Yay! We have a circuit breaker. Yay! We have rubber. We have a battery and uh, lens and bucket. And hopefully we can get this cleared up. So after you click on something, uh, the tooltip will refresh when something else pops underneath the, the cursor, right? Cool. Anyway, so he's full. Get on back. Get on back. Bring it on home, Dad. And Sarah's going to go pour some fuel in the generator. And there we go. We got power again. And then fall to the ground, throwing up. So I was thinking maybe um, antibiotics might help her, but it's not really an infection, right? I mean, I think maybe if we had some Pepto-Bismol, some Rolaids, I could at least mask some of these... Uh, some of these symptoms. <laughs> Go take a shower, kiddo. Get on in there. Clean yourself off. How's our water doing? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's starting to rain now anyway. Dad, come on in. All right, perfect. Transfer the goodies, which frankly isn't very much. But it all helps in the long run, right? Chris is still whacking away down here. And uh, in retrospect, I probably should have sent someone stronger to do this. I'm thinking maybe the strength stat has an effect on the speed at which they mine out these rooms, but hopefully he can get through it. You don't want to interrupt this action because it'll all this progress that we've made just goes by the wayside, which is kind of a shame, and I hope that's just either a bug or something that will be looked at in the future because I think it's um, kind of rotten that you lose all your progress. It's got to be a bug because that would make absolutely no sense. And uh, Chris, yeah, working hard in there. Mom, Mom's good sleeping and Dad is eating and then he's going to take a quick nap. But, uh, oh dear, there she goes. She gets out of the shower and throws up all over the floor. Sooner or later, the food poisoning is going to work through her system. I just know it. <laughs> You can do it, sis. But, uh, you know, while you're doing nothing else other than throwing up, why don't you just fix that shower? Yeah, that's a good girl. Yeah, whack it with a hammer. That always helps. The shower could do with the repair. Mom, Sarah's already on it. Two steps ahead of you. And mom is just gonna, um, I don't know. We should make something, huh? How about we craft a, a, uh, a snare? Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, a moderate snare. Three wood, one rope, and two springs. Fairly efficient animal trap. This trap will provide a good amount of rations from snared food, uh, from snared animals. Um, let's do that in the next episode, okay? Because I'm going to have mom go put on a suit, and then she'll go upstairs and take care of that. But in the meantime, I think we're just going to call it quits right here while pretty much everybody is busy. So let's do that. Mom, go grab a suit, and then we're going to say goodbye. And that's it for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.